Hear me out, okay? Because I know we're simmers here, like I don't really play Animal Crossing on this channel, but there's some new content for Animal Crossing as of last week that I think you are all really going to like. So as it stands, Animal Crossing and The Sims don't really have much overlap when it comes to gameplay. They sort of get lumped together because they're cozy games, and I'm a huge fan of both of them, but it's not like a life sim or anything. One of the major parts of Animal Crossing though is designing your island and like decorating your home and laying everything out and stuff, which is really fun, but I find it kind of difficult and it's a little bit draining because you have to kind of slowly gather items and stuff. Like your shop in the game sells like five things a day and that day is real time. So like the shop today is different than the shop yesterday in real life. And so to get new items, it sort of takes a while to build up your island to have things. But last week, an expansion pack, I'm speaking in simmer terms, but last week they dropped some DLC. It's like an expansion pack, the first and only one for Animal Crossing. And in it, you can run this like vacation island, kind of like a resort, and you get hired to design custom vacation homes for different villagers. And it's kind of like Animal Crossing creative mode. So you can decorate their little houses and stuff, but you can also decorate like a restaurant and a school and a cafe and like all these buildings on the island. And it's so much fun. Like you can tell this is right up my alley already. So the idea is that perhaps we could play some Animal Crossing together today. Just today, because I think you might want to see this. Fair warning though, I'm in the middle of redoing a lot of my island. So if you see some mess, please disregard. It's embarrassing. Oh, by the way, you can also farm now in the other update. I know. Okay, sorry. Focus. This is what I mean by the shop. So it's currently noon on Thursday the 11th, right? And this is what my shop has today. Oh my god, is that a throne? <laughs> oh my. Yeah, it is a throne. For 800,000 bills? Oh my god. Yeah, you know, actually, I think I'll pass. I've never seen that before. <laughs> But the shop has different things each day and only like five things. So to get enough stuff to like decorate your island takes a long time. And that might be off-putting to a lot of you if you're used to like The Sims where you have the full catalog at your disposal all the time. There are other ways to get things, like you can trade with people if you've got Nintendo online and sometimes these balloons float by and drop stuff for you. <laughs> There's other ways. You can also like craft stuff and whatnot. But with Happy Home Designer, you can tell the little dodo you wanna go to work. But with Happy Home Designer for the small fee of $24.99, plus the $60 main Animal Crossing game, plus the $300 Switch. <laughs> you can decorate houses. It's honestly kind of laughable how expensive these games are these days, isn't it? I mean, we play The Sims, so we're one to talk, but Animal Crossing is a little bit pricey. Oh boy. So this area also has items now. This is like the office. So you can buy stuff here too. These are some interesting ones, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> quite the selection today. I'm probably gonna buy all of it though. Now, instead of building, a house for someone, what I really would like to do is build a restaurant. Cause I just unlocked the ability to do it and it sounds like a lot of fun. Like I, re I really, really, really want to make a restaurant. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I built a cafe yesterday. This is what I had it look like. I was quite proud of this one, I must admit. Oh my God, do you see how cute though? And now I think I want to make a diner. I don't really know what I want it to look like. <laughs> okay, admittedly that pink looks really good. I don't know what color door to pick. Wait, does that kind of tie it all together? Or is that ugly? I don't know what I want it to look like. <laughs> I kind of like that too. I don't know, I can always change it later. This is fine. Oh my God, there's two rooms. The dining hall and the kitchen. <laughs> this is the first time they've given me two rooms to do. Oh my God. Okay, this is fine. 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 Okay, first of all, these things can die. I, <laughs> I can't be working with these weird furniture pieces in here. And then you have this massive catalog of furniture items. Like when I say massive, I'm not kidding, massive. You can change the color of anything to be what you want it to look like. I was sort of imagining that I would do this like pink kind of retro diner. At least that was my vision. But we could also go like fine dining. Those two things are complete opposites. Oh no. Okay, ignore the quality of this image, but look at the vibes. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try pink retro diner. Oh my. <laughs> Some of these wallpapers are quite the choice. Oh, do we go for like pink, pink? Like when we said pink retro diner, were we serious about that? Is there not a matching pink tile? Maybe I'll do the white wood. Oh, fun, wait, that's maybe a little bit too busy, isn't it? <gasps> Ice cream shop wall, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that might be good. Just as like an accent wall over there. Or we could do that to get some extra color. I don't know, let me just start putting furniture and I'll figure it out. If only Dine Out had this many pink options. <laughs> do you know what I just realized? I don't even think they have like regular height dining tables that aren't squares. I'm pretty sure all the dining tables are squares in this game. Like the normal dining tables that are that height. Oh, this corner sofa as well. Also comes in pink, good to know. Wait, this table is, 
is maybe good. And it comes in white. Oh, fine. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Why is that a different color than the walls? Oh, <gasps> okay. We need to put a cash register in here too. I'm starting to think that I should have made it bigger. Maybe it was wider or is that too much? Uh, it might be too much. <laughs> you can also decide if you want to use windows or not. Ooh, what did I do? <laughs> I made the lighting really bad. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> False alarm, everybody. That was scary. Oh my gosh. Does this come in pink? Oh my gosh. Wait, I have this vision of using a partition wall for this. But then when you first come in, you like walk up to the, to the counter. The partition wall is a bit in the way. <laughs> Well, maybe maybe if the counter was up against these, maybe that would be fine. Oh, maybe that works out. You walk up to the counter and you like talk to them. You say, hey, I know I want a table or whatever, you know, <laughs> it's okay if it's like really tight in here. No one needs to actually walk around, right? It's fine. Wait, I have an idea. I didn't mean to delete everything like that. <laughs> That was a mistake. Oh, wrong color. No, no, no. Are there diner chairs? I know we have the diner mini tape. Oh, yes, there are. Wait, there's these two. I think that might be for a hospital. <laughs> no, I don't want that one. There is a bigger dining table for the diner, but it's like enormous, which is not really what I'm going for, unfortunately. <laughs> also, move objects, not a thing in this. Uh, my poor dear Simmer children who have been blessed by move objects in The Sims 4. None of that around here. See, that's just too big. I feel like this is a mess. I feel like I've made a big mistake. I put an ice cream display back there. I think that was a good choice personally. Oh my God, there's a salad bar. I haven't seen a lot of the new items yet, obviously, because I've, you know, not built a restaurant yet. So it's kind of fun to get to see them. Okay, realistically, the Animal Crossing villagers are not able to walk around this, I don't think, but I kind of like how it looks. So I might keep it. I think I need to get some more things that are not pink in here now though. Oh, the spice rack will be good on the counter. And now we can put out food. <laughs> I think this kind of thing is so fun. There's so many options as well. I mean, we got like these sandwiches and stuff. Look at them. They're like steaming. Oh, I love this game. It's so cute. Okay. Sorry. 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 Focus. There's a wet floor sign. Should we block people out of the building? Oh, I've never seen this. This is like a hanging from the ceiling menu. Should I put it above the... Oh, cool. Some of these are weird. <laughs> There's like currency exchange, security footage, weather forecast. Maybe I'll put the like sports broadcaster on there. No, that's super weird. I shouldn't do that. To be fair, restaurants and bars sometimes play sports inside of them. It's not that unrealistic. Does this light come in pink? Oh, it does. Unfortunately, I, f I feel as though I must. Maybe if we put the, the lights above the counter, I'd like to hang up cute things on the wall, but none of these things are really giving me diner. I mean, I guess maybe the shelves are. Oh my gosh, exit sign, 100%. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the diner neon clock, duh. Oh, that helps. Okay, I might put, wait, 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 wait. I might put the slushy machine back here with the, with the counter. I feel like that kind of makes sense as well. Like if there's going to be a kitchen at the restaurant, the kitchen's in the back, but they do the drinks up front. So you can get like drinks and ice cream up front, but the back gets your dinner, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Look how many options there are on this. No. Okay. Wait, what do I want to put? Maybe like the hamburger. Cause it's a diner. Is that cute? Or is that weird? You can actually walk through here just by the way, it is possible. Now onto the second room. I think I'm happy with the dining room space, the kitchen. Oh, okay. Okay. So as far as required items go, we need to have two stove tops. <laughs> okay. What other sorts of things are new. Dishwasher, utility sink, fridge, salad bar. <laughs> I don't know. I might put that in here. Maybe we could put like the counters. I might make this bigger. I'm not really sure how big I want it to be though is the problem. I was thinking I would put like some counters sort of back to back in the kitchen, but maybe I should make the room like longer so I can fit more. The problem is that like, this is not like a fancy restaurant. It's not exactly big, <laughs> you know, like do they really need to have all this stuff in it? Maybe not. Oh, maybe I'll do it like this. Well, first of all, don't face the fridge towards the wall. <laughs> but what if we had like double fridges? Maybe I'll only have like the one set of counters in the middle. That should be enough space. Are there colors on these? I kind of forgot to look at that. I was just like assuming they were this color, but oh, you cannot change the color on these. I know this is like the floor. That's like the, the kitchen floor, but I don't want to use it. I wonder if there's like a fire extinguisher anywhere. I've, I've never tried to decorate anything like this in Animal Crossing. Like for the most part, what I do is just decorate like my house. So this is fun because it's like completely different than what I'm used to doing. Put an air conditioner above the window. Do you think it's against code to put the broom next to the stove like I just did? Is that allowed? <laughs> oh, those bottles fit perfectly above the fridges. That actually works out pretty well. Okay, I just made it so you can't walk around the other side of these counters. <laughs> That was maybe a mistake. The kitchen is a little bit less functional now, but that's okay. All right, let's get a deep fryer. I love that you can hear it. Oh my God. Can you customize the frying pan? Stop. You can customize the pan to have food in it. Are you kidding? Oh, <gasps> 
This is making me so excited. Oh, that one's burnt. Here's a dish drying rack. I feel like there already is one. <laughs> In the in the dishwasher, but maybe we can have some fresh dinnerware laid out. I don't know Oh, what about like a basket of bread like fresh bread ready to use for the sandwiches? Look you can change the food inside of this too <laughs> That's so cute and you can change the color of the towel and the wood separately ridiculous Okay, I'm actually really happy with this kitchen and how it's turned out. I feel like I might tell her I'm done I'm finished now. I gotta pick the staff. Oh my god Uh, The chef perhaps hippo maybe Lionel can be the apprentice Shari can be the cat Cashier and Huck can be the employee. I'm fine with that. Everybody has to wear pink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make the rules. Yes. <gasps> Wait, that's so cute. This is way more fun than dine out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm ready. I'm going to name the restaurant dine out, I think. Perhaps if we do this, we can like manifest an update to dine out in The Sims 4. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Now give me a tour. Now this part's like dream home decorator, but better. Watch. See? Isn't that cute? Makes me want to dance. <laughs> Look at them all go in my little spot. I'm not really a fan of the one on the left. I'm not gonna lie. Get out. <laughs> Look at them. I'm so excited. I think this place turned out cute. Well, I think with all of that being done though, we might call it a day here on this episode. Don't worry, I'm not gonna start uploading constant Animal Crossing content on YouTube, but I do stream Animal Crossing a lot on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Lil Simsy. I also post all my streams on YouTube onto my second channel, More Simsy. So I literally have hundreds of hours of Animal Crossing content there too, if you wanna see it. Thank you for giving Animal Crossing a chance on my Sims channel, I appreciate it. I had fun doing this, so I hope you liked it too. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. It's just so cute, you know? We all need a little bit of Animal Crossing in our lives sometimes.